This is the prompt for week number seven at Journal 52. And as you can see, the word that they've chosen for this week is dawn. And a lovely kind of sunrise appearing in the background. So the prompts read, dawn, the first appearance of daylight in the morning, the beginning or rise of anything, advent. Synonyms for dawn are daybreak, sunrise, appear and occur. So the prompts is create a spread that explores a new beginning, explore what you wish would dawn in your life, or use a sunrise in your spread. And then the oracle, what's on the horizon, what is rising? What new beginnings might you be experiencing and what new beginnings do you wish to experience? Okay, so I love sunrises and sunsets. So I think I'm going to utilize the imagery Use a sunrise in your spread. That's exactly what I think I'm going to do. So for this page I'm using an 8x8 piece of watercolour card and I'm using some damaged dots and damaged damask 12x12 papers from Indigo Blue. Now this entire page is going to be created using Indigo Blue products apart from one or two selected items from Ranger. So I've chosen yellow, green and a bluish colour for my page today and as you can see I'm drawing round the page as a template so that I can cut out um, an entire cover out of that 12 by 12 Now that my circle is roughly cut out, I haven't been too particular with cutting it out because I know I will end up having to trim it anyway. So I'm now going to add it to my page using the triangle collage glue stick from Ranger. Now that my circle is stuck down and there are no bubbles or wrinkles or creases, I'm just going to take a flexible sanding block and go all the way around the outside of my circle just to soften those edges. For the next step, I'm going to use the yellow damask. This is the banana custard yellow. And using my circle cutter from Xcut, I'm just going to cut out a four inch circle so that I can create a sun shape. And as with the larger circle, I'm just going to go around the edges with that sanding block just to soften those as well. So I'm just going to position the sun onto my backing paper just so I can gauge where it's going to go and then using um, the collage glue stick I'm just going to put a small amount, just a little dab in the middle. That's just going to hold it in place while I work around it. So next I'm going to take some of that excess yellow paper and I'm going to start tearing some strips, just thin strips, all the way down. Now I'm going to use these thin strips to create some kind of sun rays or a, a, a a sunburst if you like behind the circle that I've glued down. Now this is the reason why I only put a little bit of glue in the middle. It's so I can tuck these pieces behind it. So I'm now going to start tearing them into smaller strips and then gluing them behind the disc of my sun. I'm going to go all the way around with some larger pieces and then I'm going to infill with some thinner pieces also. So because this takes quite a little bit of time and I know that you don't particularly want to sit there watching me do the whole thing, what I'll do is I'll go into super speed and then drop back down again at the end. Now that didn't take long and my fingers went almost a blur. So now that I've got my sunburst kind of sorted out and I've arranged it on the, the page, I can now glue my disc down properly. But what I want to do first of all is to scruff up the edges to make those as distressed as the actual sun rays that I've got down there. Now I start off 
with one of those edge scruffing tools but it just wasn't doing it for me. I think mine's completely blunt and wants replacing. So I switch over to a pair of scissors. Now you can do this with a pair of scissors, just please be very careful. Those scissors do have sharp blades. Now that we're all scuffed up, I'm going to glue the disc down completely onto the page. And when I'm happy it's nice and secure, I'm going to flip the page over and then start trimming off all those excess pieces that are overhanging. Next up I'm going to use the peppermint tea dots from the damaged dots and I'm going to create a foreground in the same way that I did before. I've just overlaid the sheet, torn it across to get a kind of landscapey feel and then I've just cut around the bottom to shape it with the page. And then I've just decided that I want to take a little bit more off that corner so I'm just going to trim it with my fingers. And because I'd positioned it a couple of times, I just need to trim off some excess from around the bottom. Next, I decided I want to add a kind of um, a very subtle whitewash over the page to give it the effect of kind of early morning mist. So to do that, I'm just going to grab some of the white gesso, the Gesso Good from Indigo Blue. I'm just going to add it to a polystyrene or styrofoam plate, add some water, and then using a fan brush, I'm just going to, uh, not a fan brush, a, just a standard paintbrush, I'm going to add a wash just across the page. So a very subtle effect. So I just need to make sure it's nice and dry before moving on, so out comes the heat gun. And I want to add a little bit of texture, so for this I'm using the Script Dinky Stamp from Indigo. This is a brand new one. And I'm just going to ink it up using the Tree Branch Archival Ink. And I'm just going to stamp that around the bottom section of the page. Now I just want to make sure that I've got it the right way up first of all. So I don't want to be stamping down and putting the text upside down because I know people will probably want to try and read it. Um, but this is one of those stamps where you can actually read what the text says. So I've only stamped around the lower portion of the page. So for the next step, I want to add a little bit of darkness. So I'm going to bring um, a blending sponge, one of the, the circular blending foams, and using the same ink, I'm just going to go around and add a kind of darker border to it. And while I've got the foam there, I may as well just add a little bit to the edges of the sun as well. Why not? Just for the heck of it. So next, I want to add my quote for the page, which I'm going to use the Mindfulness Number 1 stamp set, again from Indigo Blue, and I'm going to use the stamp set I've just pointed out there that says walk gently, breathe deeply, and laugh freely. Now I'm going to stamp this using the Potting Soil Archival Ink, but I'm actually going to stamp it directly onto the page, directly onto my sun disc. Normally when doing an art journal page, we'd stamp onto a separate piece of paper and then cut the word blocks out and stick those down. But today I wanted to integrate it directly. Now I did get a little bit of ink on the edge of the stamp. So using a baby wipe, I've just, just rubbed it very, very gently just to remove it from the page. And while I was there, I thought I may as well just use the baby wipe and just create a few highlights on the actual ink the actual pattern of the paper just to create a kind of cloudy effect. So next up it's the Dots Inky Dink stencil. Now this is only a very very small stencil and only measures approximately three by three and I'm going to use 
at the Saffron Archival Ink with an ink blending tool and I'm just going to put the Saffron ink through that little mini stencil just in a few areas around the page. So I'm happy with the way that stenciling looks. It's all starting to create interest uh, through the layers that we're adding to the page. So next up, I want to add some of my faithful splatters. So for that, I'm just using the remnants of the white gesso that I used earlier and the fan brush. Uh, and I'm just going to add some white sprinkles and white splatters around the top portion of the page. Now looking at the page I thought it just needed something extra so I decided to do exactly the same thing with the splatters but this time use the Burning Bonfire Orange Acrylic Paint. Again just mixing a very very small amount on that styrofoam plate. I'm just going to integrate the paint with the white that's already there because it's not really going to affect it that much. So I've just added some water and then mix it with the fan brush and then I can add my splatters. And this really does help to add interest and unify the page and all those colours and everything together into a cohesive page layout. So just making sure that everything is nice and dry before I add my next element. So using the Stabilo White Opaque Rollerball Pen, I'm now going to write some hand journaling across the section of the top part of my landscape, the foreground. Now this isn't really meant to be read by anybody, but I know what it says. It's what we call um, personal journaling. So I'm just going to add my thoughts and feelings about, um, about being early and being there at the start of a new day. And now that I've added my thoughts on getting up out of bed early, all I need to do is sign and date it and then I'm going to call this page done. So that's week number seven for Journal 52 and the prompt was Dawn. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this art journal page be created. It's surprising what you can do if you want to use up some of your scraps of paper that you've had lying around for a while. If you have enjoyed watching the video please remember to give it a thumbs up Share the video with all your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of this video. And I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you this video would not have been possible. Thank you. That's all from me for now. I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.